Do we have it going on or what? You know, there may be seismographic waves that come out of Scottsdale that penetrate the nation. In fact, if you look at our logo earlier when we showed the drop fall, and we're going to talk more about that today, the impact of the trilogy is amazing, isn't it? I mean, when I asked you last night about when you took that first meal replacement, and I got to tell you, the first time I met Brad, you just, you know how you know sometimes, you just know, there's that sixth sense, and I knew, I knew this was where we needed to start this revolution. Now, eight years ago, I didn't know what it looked like, but I knew it was going to be big. By the way, do you like the founder's jackets? Yeah. And but this is a special from uh, Michael Patrick. I, I had this in Portland. I said, man, that's our colors. And um, being such a servant leader, he got me the tie to match. How cool is that? Yeah. And you know, as servant leaders, we have an opportunity to cut across something that the country really needs right now. And it starts with physical health. You know, when it starts with a trilogy, when we look at our heritage, we look at Metafast and Take Shape for Life, we are a company based on helping people lose weight. That's where we started. And right now, since 67% of people in this country need to lose weight, pretty good place to start, right? But beyond that, what we're creating is a new system for health. And it started eight and a half years ago. You see, copycats don't have much of a chance. The government, they got a long way to go because they're focused on the wrong thing. They're saying, wow, we're spending a bunch of money on sickness and we gotta lower that. So how do we do it? Well, someone raises their hand and says, well, it's prevention. Well, in 2001, the Surgeon General at that time made a decree on war on obesity and said the Americans need to lose about eight pounds. And since the time they made that decree, the average weight of Americans has gone up eight pounds. In fact, the initiatives that were set for 2015 forces a country, the percent of coming down, are all destroyed. It's not working. You cannot, from a governmental level, tell people to get healthy, can you? Because see, we live in this world, this obesogenic world, this world where nutritional pollution, and actually, honestly, they just did what we asked them to do. We didn't have enough energy-dense food and people were starving around the world, so we asked the food companies, to build cheaper food that everyone could afford. The thing we forgot to tell them was it needed to be healthy. <laughs> and actually, if you think about it, high fructose corn syrup, there's a big debate whether we should use it in cars. <laughs> no debate whether they should use it in us. Don't figure. And most of that stuff doesn't figure. What matters is that we start with ourselves. And you know, Brad talked about great products. Mike talked about a great company behind you. But it really starts with you as a health coach. And so the rest of today, all the workshops today, are revolved around you becoming great health coaches. Because I can tell you right now, you just got to see Jaime and Lisa. Are they great? Yeah. yeah. Well. I can tell you that Lisa was always a great health coach. And I watched Lisa five, six years ago now. She had, she had a basically a, um, an inflammatory disease of inflammation. We're going to talk about some cool things about that a little bit later. And she was really suffering. She was on medication. She was much heavier. And she was miserable. And she hurt all the time. And she was on the path where the doctors looked at her and then reacted to what she had and gave her medicines and told her, well, you have to start limiting what you can do. And she was getting bigger because she was more inactive. And they were treating the symptoms, but the disease was progressing along. Well, what we did was we started with a meal replacement. And in a period of weeks, she started feeling better. Why? Because this visceral adiposity, this ugly fat that we carry around our middle that served us so well 10,000 years ago, is no longer serving us. It was there for times of famine because it was hard to find energy. And most Americans don't know that their program is for 10,000 years ago. They don't understand. And they're looking at this one thing. They're so far down the trees, they're looking at, oh, I got to lose some weight, and here, you know, I want to do this, and I'm going to get on this diet. And that's it. And they think it's going to make a difference. And it doesn't make a difference. Because what happens is even if they're happy to get on a good, a one that helps them lose weight, they lose the weight, they say, yeah, great job, and then they go back to what they're doing. Because people think in terms of diet, they're thinking in the very short-term frame. What we do is, just like we do as a company, 
We're here for the long haul. We are here to change this country. And that starts with that very first time that you help your client start the process and can you eat every three hours. We keep it that simple. So you don't want to throw up on them. We're going to give you a lot of great stuff today. And what you have as a professional and moving on to become, are you guys, do you guys want to be trilogists? Yeah. All right. Every single person in this room can be a trilogist. If little Ruth can break through that board, okay, together we can do some great things. And we can do that. So remember how, see the part is you have to remember that don't get too smart for yourself. See, remember in the beginning as a coach, and we're going to talk about this and I'm going to talk a little bit about it today and then we're going to talk about it in, in, in some of the workshops, but we're going to teach you how to be great coaches. Is Brian Byer a great coach? Why is he a great coach? Because he knows in here that it's all about where you are. And I can tell you, none of this matters unless you got it right here. See, it's good to have the knowledge. But you got to have the heart, because this is a passionate business, isn't it? And the first time you hear the first story of someone you helped, you need to internalize that. Because you see the bio network, when I made up that word, it's a word, made up word, it's a made up word, and it means a living network. It actually means healing yourself from the inside first, and getting your mind right where you're now focused on the things that are necessary. See, you can't point your finger, too much finger pointing going on, you know? I mean, I had a great friend in, in uh, medical school, or actually in residency, and he said, you know, he went to medical school and he thought he was so smart, and his dad worked his rear off as a mechanic um, to, to put him through medical school. And he comes home, you know, real smart and everything. He goes in the backyard and, and he starts telling his dad, you know, you need to do this over here, you need to do this over here, you need to do that over there. And his dad goes, and he goes to his dad, what do you think? His dad says, I think there's a lot of pointing going on around here. So basically, it starts from you. See, if you're talking experientially from your experience and what you're doing and how you're helping people and doing your job right, you're setting a foundation, a solid foundation to help people create health in their life. If you're simply selling the meal replacements and they think, oh, I got another order, then you don't get it. You don't get it. And in terms of your own personal health, now, we're all going to move. We all have different genetics. About 30% is genetic expression. But the other 70% is the environment and how we respond to that environment. Now, going back to 10,000 years ago, you were programmed to do something different. And if you mindlessly and your clients mindlessly go through their day and don't think about it, their programming will tell them to eat the energy-dense food, right? The programming, you know, I, I tell this story, but I think it's so important. We were on a six-hour flight about a month ago or so, uh, coming back from the West, or going to the West Coast. And, you know, Southwest is a great airline. They have great service. And I love, yesterday, Brian was modeling that, you know what, you guys remind me of Southwest, which is a compliment. Because i got to tell you, they know how to move people. And it's about attitude. It's about helping people help each other. It's about having some fun, right? Is it about having fun? Yeah. And, and we were coming. But I tell you, one thing, they, they, in their infinite wisdom to save costs, they, I think they use, their planes have like two little mice down there that are going like this. Because it took six and a half hours with a little headwind to get to the west coast. So we're on the plane like this. And everybody, by the way, on the plane, because they're hungry and they haven't thought about carrying their portion control in every place because you haven't talked to them yet. Those people are getting from the flight attendant the little box of stuff. Now, the airline has to save weight and has to save cost. So if you look at every single thing they give you, if you look at it, the first ingredient is what? High fructose corn syrup. Doesn't matter what it looks like. See, we take meal replacements and we take the best quality protein, clinically proven. It costs more to use our protein. Uh, the protein we use from uh, Soleil uh, basically is the best in the world. It was the one that was used for the clinicals. When Brad talks about it, that's what attracted me. I'm a physician and I don't do anything medi mediocre. And you know what? You don't want to accept mediocrity in yourself or your coaches. <laughs>